Hello YouTube, this is the 10 step guide to preparing your Visual Studio Code workspace to utilize JavaFX. Step 1, download JavaFX. So let's just go right to it. So in your browser, you're just going to just gonna go to this website right here, which is linked in the description, or you can just search uh, JavaFX, Xuan, it should be the top link. And you're going to want to scroll down to the latest release, and you want to click on download. You see how it's right there? So in our downloads folder, so right here, so we're going to click on this, we're going to right click, and we're going to hit extract, extract to whatever. You don't, you can leave this folder here where it is in the downloads, or you can do what I'm doing, and I'm just going to drag this folder into my local hard drive to make uh, future steps easier. So once we got that out of the way, we're now going to open VS Code, close that out of the way. Open a folder. I'm going to open this pre prepared folder here on my desktop called test. Select folder. Now we want to create a new Java project. So we're going to do that doing control shift P and finding create Java project. No build tools. We're going to select this folder and put a name for the project. We'll call this JavaFX. So you see this lib folder right here. It's completely empty. So we're going to want to go to run at configuration. And we're just going to bring up this weird looking file. So to properly do it, I'm going to go into here and we're going to add this VM args, the second one below the request. So we're just going to copy this, which can also be found in the description. This part right here, this is your file path. This is, see how it's, see how that's such a small file path. You don't have to worry about it because it's in our C drive and it's smaller, faster, easier to work with. So now in the second one, second center brackets, below request, click enter. We're going to paste it in, to save it. And the next step will be going to Java projects in the bottom left, JavaFX, reference libraries, plus, we're going to navigate to our C drive, SDK, lib, use all those, select jar libraries. You see all these jar, jar, all these jar libraries down here. Such that you have now set up your VS Code uh, workspace to utilize JavaFX. Uh, thank you for watching, and if you'd like to learn how to use Scene Builder with VS Code, Please watch the next video that I'll be making directly after this. Thank you. Subscribe, like, comment. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment. If you have any questions, join my Discord. Link in the description. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a great day.